Welcome back to my channel, Winter Motors. My name is Sean Winter, your friendly neighborhood outlaw. And today I'm going to take you along as I prep the bike and the bags and get ready to pack it. Basically do all the preps necessary for this year's road trip, which starts in... Well, yeah, I have today and tomorrow and then I leave. So it starts in one and a half full days, I guess. Um, yeah, so I gotta head on down and do that. Here's the touring parts. These are the brackets that will hold the saddle bikes for falling into the rear tire. So they obviously go on the back fender. A seat for the sissy bar and a luggage rack which I've actually never used. I mean it was on the bike when I picked it up but I've never actually used it as a luggage rack so that'll be interesting. A strap to hold some bags on, stuff like that because I didn't get the bags that I wanted and me tools. So I'm going to start off with the most challenging part which is to get the brackets onto the um, rear fender here. I took it off because I didn't like the way it looked in winter time sometime and I just got like a random machine screw in here and here so um, I'm actually a little worried to take them out but this is why I prep the bike now on Friday instead of right before I leave so it's a pro tip actually not that I'm a pro or anything but let's just call it that. a little bit of trouble figuring out what the hell's going on here because I wasn't smart enough to take notes, pictures or videos of, of how I took these off so I'll be back when I figure that out. Alright so after quite some time I got them on kinda. Yeah just don't do it this way I'm not going to show you how because it's horrible and uh, I might have to find a different solution but for right now this is the only solution I have so not ideal but uh, anyway let's move on to the luggage rack. Just made realize how short my sissy bar is. Uh, yeah. So I had ordered this one bag from a company I'm gonna leave unnamed um, that would fit perfectly on the sissy bar and would be pretty big, probably would hold all my luggage. I ordered this like over a month ago today, it still didn't arrive and when I wrote them asking where it is, after a little bit talking back and forth about that it hasn't arrived and it's gonna arrive after I've left on holiday, instead of still sending it to me, they they cancelled the order. So I'm never gonna get that back. <laughs> but uh, so I have an idea. But uh, now that I look at this like this, I don't think it will work. But let's see. So the idea is to take this backpack bag and strap it on there instead, like the bag should have done. But um, and it has this little hole here. So potentially, yeah, and then strap it on. But um, yeah, let's see. So the way I intended it to be was to sit straight up and then strap it onto the sissy bar, but that's not gonna work. It will be too tall. My sissy bar is not tall enough. With a new bike that I'm gonna get, I'm definitely gonna get a higher sissy bar. Um, yeah, and uh, so sideways will work like that. It also limits my packing space, and as you can see now, the bag's unpacked, completely empty, so it hangs down way too much. But. Uh, that can be fixed when it's full, hopefully. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna go upstairs and fill it with some dirty laundry just to see if it even, even will work. 
Uh, next thing then is to think about, can I get the pillow on there? But then again, this is also kind of cushioning like it is. So now we get to the packing. When you want to go on a motorcycle road trip, you obviously have to think about that you have to pack lights. What do you mean? What the hell? I can't pack lights. So here in this little uh, setup here, or this little pile here, or this deconstructed pile, we can say, you can see the the essentials of the things I want to bring along. Now, yes, it's all black, so it's a little bit hard to tell what things are, but I'm just gonna run through it real quick. So here we have a bunch of tools that I'm gonna bring along because I'm gonna be have to be taking on and off parts of the bike when we travel, gotta to get to destinations, and also just in case I need to fix something. Uh, tools are always great to have when you want to travel far on a motorcycle. I also have a little tripod here for setups, you know, for camera, cool shots and all that stuff. Got a little charging bank that I'm gonna have in the front little uh, um, handlebar bag so I can charge my phone when I use directions. Other chargers, more chargers up here for cameras, GoPros, all that shit. And then I just got, you know, my underwear, my t-shirts, a uh, hoodie over here for if it gets cold. Uh, a towel, which I tend to always forget to bring a towel when I go on a holiday and it's fucking annoying. You just gotta air dry yourself after you're showered, it's, it's no fun. Then I have a flask here, my handy dandy talisker flask, because I need some whiskey on the run. And my passport obviously, which is super important, and uh, just some rain pants, only rain pants because, you know, my legs get more on the elements and I want to keep them dry in case it starts raining, but not on the good old wood that it won't start raining along the way. Sorry neighbors. These are the bags I have to pack everything into. Now, Mara also needs to put all her things in there, so the things I just showed you are basically what I would like to bring, but it doesn't really mean that that's what I'm gonna end up bringing, because I have to pack the bags and then see what I've got space for. So I got this good old backpacker bag that uh, you saw me fitting onto the back of uh, the luggage rack on the sissy bar. These are my saddlebags. They're actually super, super horrible saddlebags, but I'm gonna put them on because we need the space and uh, they, they will do the job. And then my handlebar bag, which I will be having on the handlebar with the essential things like chargers, my passport, and all that crap, you know what I mean? So, that's all the things and all the bags. Now, I'm just gonna get to packing them, because like I said, I don't know if all my things will fit into, uh, into my bags. So, I just gotta get to packing, see what I can bring, and I'll report back when uh, when I know what I have to sacrifice back into the cupboard. Um, yeah, so let's get to that. So to my surprise, we actually managed to fit everything that we wanted to pack into these four bags. Four because of the handbar bag. But these three main bags managed to fit everything into it, which is actually really surprising. And I'm very happy that we were able to. There actually is a little bit of space left in this bag, so I can add things like my flip-flops or similar, uh, but that we'll have to figure out as we go. The main packing is done, uh, but the critical part is then to get all the bags onto the bike, which will happen tomorrow morning and not right now. Right now it is pizza time and beer time. I got this very fitting beer from my friend Teddy Van Halen and his and his girlfriend Alex, a very fitting beer. It's an Irish pale ale. It's all the things that I am, Irish and pale. I'm just not ale and full of alcohol, but after this I will be, so <sighs> beer time. And then I'll catch up with you again tomorrow when the road trip starts. Thanks for watching another video here at Winter Motors. Maybe as you know, my name is Sean Winter, your friendly neighborhood outlaw. And I'm gonna cut this camera off and set out on the road trip. So stay tuned for the road trip episodes, which are coming up shortly following this, probably a week exactly from this episode, probably over like four or five episodes. I have no idea yet, because, well, I haven't gone on the road trip yet. But stay tuned for that, and uh, until next time, Bye-bye.